What's up, guys? Uh, so last time we looked at Doritos mustard and ketchup, and one of the things that I thought, and a lot of you guys thought, was man, it'd be cool to have it like mixed with some kind of meat flavor, like hot dogs, and especially with the mustard. And lo and behold, HEB, a local grocery store here in uh, Texas, has just that. They have fried corn dog and mustard flavored chips. So I thought we could taste that and we have three different kinds of hot sauces that you might see here that look like grenades. We're gonna try all three of these hot sauces also. So let's take a uh, look at this first. It really just tastes, it smells just like potato chips. It, yeah. it doesn't well, smell like anything mustardy or hot doggy. That's weird. Tastes like hot dog. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> I don't taste mustard at all. No. Immediately you get that smoky meat flavor, the hot dog flavor. And it's kind of sweet. Oh, it's weak though. It's pretty weak. It's mostly potato. Wow. Yeah, these are very disappointing. Um, I'd say they mostly taste like potato chips. A little bit of meat taste to it, but very little. It has, okay, if someone told me that was very lightly flavored barbecue chips, I would think that. Yeah, it, it, that's what it tastes like. It tastes more like, like diet barbecue chips. Like it, it tastes barely like barbecue. Yeah. It barely tastes like anything. It just tastes like potato chips. It, it, Tastes like they put like 10% of the sprinkling they put of the regular barbecue chips in that. Right. In the whole bag. Yeah, not a fan. Um, I mean, for a potato chip, I guess it's Good. okay. Yeah, I would say, but as a corn dog and mustard flavored potato chip, I'd give that a one out of 10. Yeah. But as a chip, I'd give it like a six. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's taste these hot sauces. Now, this is from a company called the General's Hot Sauce. And there's three different flavors and they're all in these like really cool grenades and they have, they come with little dog tags on them and stuff like that. Very cool packaging. Came with a sticker. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. Uh, the link is below. And the reason why I got this is not only because of the cool bottles. I mean, you could wash these out and just put salt and pepper in them or something like that. They're really neat. Um, is that I heard these are just really good hot sauces that the taste the taste is really good now this is veteran owned uh, company so uh, yeah let's take a look now we got three flavors I got grunt green dead red and shock and awe and I I'm guessing the shock and awe is the hottest one I think dead red is like a typical red uh, sauce Let's start off with the green. Uh, which, what kind of chip do you want to do? You want to just do a regular tortilla chip? Yeah. Okay. Let's see, shake this up. Oh, it smells good. Are they all just open already? Yeah, they just sound screwed. So let's uh, taste the green one first. That smells fucking awesome. Yeah, I need some from here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get a, just do it on chip. It's all right. It just tastes like vinegar with a little pepper. Well, our camera just died, of course, and we just got done tasting all three hot sauces. We'll tell you right now, we're not doing it again. 
The green one uh, was... Doable. Doable. It was okay. It was not our favorite green uh, one. In fact, I'm never going to reach for that. I'm never going to, yeah. I mean, I like a, uh, a green... Uh, uh, what is it? Tabasco. Tabasco. You know, green Tabasco is better than this. But this is actually okay compared to the next two. The uh, dead red tastes like chemicals. It was, I thought, just a good red hot sauce. I was you know, like, it's just your basic good red hot sauce. Lies. It tastes like chemicals. It was awful. Uh, never ever have this one ever again. And last. Shock and awe, this is why we're not doing it. We're not redoing this video. Uh, because one, if they were good, we'd probably redo this video, but they were all garbage. And this one also tasted like chemicals, very, uh, tasted like habanero, uh, really strong, but also, again, tasted like chemicals again. Did not <clears throat> enjoy it, but very, very fucking hot. So. I mean, we're, we've been, uh, it's probably been about five minutes since we've taken just a nickel size drop uh, on a chip, and I am we're we're dying here. Like out of my out of my mind right now. I can't think straight. Right, super hot. I think hotter than the noodles that we've yeah. been trying. Hotter than the spicy noodles that we've been trying over on her uh, YouTube page over at Pimple Moose on YouTube. But all these have amazing reviews on Amazon. People are saying how this is so good, and and we saw this video of Irish people uh, on the try the try channel. Irish people try things, and they were all talking about how delicious this was. And really enjoyable. First two, absolutely loved, mm -hmm. um, and would would love more of them again. As far as hot sauces go, they were really nice. That's what made me buy it. And then I went to Amazon and read all the reviews, and everyone loved it on Amazon. <laughs> lies, complete lies. Horrible hot sauces. Horrible taste. Green ones okay. The rest die. If anything, I got some cool grenade bottles that I can wash out and put better hot sauces in or something. I don't know how you're talking right now. I know. Uh, I'm a mess right now. Fuck you. The, I wish the camera didn't die. That's unfortunate. Uh, but oh well. Uh, I cannot recommend this at all. Uh, maybe for the bottles. That's about it. And the potato chips. The, the fried corn dog and mustard potato chips. Don't recommend that either unless you just want we Bullshit. How much was that? I think this three pack was like something like 30 bucks. <laughs> Fucking rip off. Don't get it. Not worth it. Anyways, this has been an ultimate fail here at Snack Ban. And uh, <laughs> we're just trying new things out. So until that next time. <laughs> that, yeah, that was fun. We're in pain now. See you guys later.